don't really know what to say, uh, what to do for my talk today. But I've got something planned, don't worry. Um, and I just think it's a good opportunity for me today to stand here and talk to you a bit about my story, yeah. about where God has been in there, even though sometimes you feel like he's not, he is. Uh, so my title today is failing isn't wait, failing isn't failure it's an opportunity to succeed and I'll play I'll tell you how I got this um, I wanted to be a pediatric nurse still going to be <laughs> and many as you well know I um, got three A stars in A level um, I got my English in GCSE my science my maths my cooking got everything else but except one thing and that were maths, and I was kicking myself. All right, okay. From year 11 to now, I've been trying, and I've been working hard. I've had family support me, and do the best I can. And I was like, okay, what am I going to do? How am I going to beat this? So I prayed to God, and I'm like, God, I'm going to do this this time. I am going to going to do it. So I'm like, okay. On results day, walked up, and I saw the big fat fail on the thing. <laughs> I was like, oh no, what am I going to do? So my teacher said to me, study. I went, oh, okay, study it is. <laughs> and I went and stood in the study and logged onto the computer and um, looked at clearing and ways I can get into uni. And for love and no money, I could not find any way of getting into uni. I contacted the uni directly and said, this is, I'm passionate. This is something I want to do. As you may know that I do work downstairs with the kids on a Sunday and I absolutely love it get to teach the kids about God and help them and care for them. But I've failed around about four times. And do you know what? I'm proud to stand here today and say, I have failed. It's fine to fail. Um, and the ways I'm going to achieve that is by choosing to carry on. Not just step back and say, I've failed. God, this is your plan. Find me another one. No, I know this is for me. And I know that even though it may not seem like that at the time, it is. Um, John, uh, John 13, verse 7, Jesus replied, you don't understand now what I'm going to do, but you, you will someday. And that I will. I'll be thinking, okay, the reason why I didn't go to uni this time is because it's a different, different application. I might not be going to uni this time because it's harder for me. God's saying, I've got something better for you. I've got something that is worth your imagination. And I believe that it's, I'm going to get it. I will, but not right now. So for the time being, I'm going to um, take on a caring job full experience um, and uh, work the experience. And I've got Rosie helping me with my maths. And I'm going to do it. I am. <laughs> um, but it's not just me who's failed in life. You've probably failed. You're probably thinking, God, why have you let me fail? He's not letting you fail. He's, he doesn't want you to fail. He wants you to succeed in everything you do. But the thing is... Is, is, is going to stand by you on when you fail and say, I'm going to give you an opportunity. I'm going to give you another idea. And the other fails are Walt Disney. He was told by his editor over and over again, you have no imagination. You're not good enough. But it's proved him wrong. He, did, he, he um, created around about 83 movies. That's without remakes. Your kids love what Walt Disney's created. Absolutely love it. They'll be sitting there for hours. Jasmine loves uh, Frozen and old princess movies and Toy Story. Uh, Thomas Edison, he had to fail 99 times to get where we were. To, well, were. Um, if it, without him, we wouldn't have had the electric light bulb. We wouldn't have had a camera or a phone. So I just think people like this had to fail. They had to see what they were getting wrong. Michael Jordan, he missed over 9,000 shots in his career. 9,000 shots, that is a lot. I'd be like, okay, I'm getting off now. <laughs> I'm not doing that. He lost more than 300 games, and he was told, he was trusted that he would get the winning shot, and he didn't. I'd have been, <sighs> don't know how I did that. <laughs> but he failed over and over again in his life, and that's how he succeeded. We need to have these points where we have to look to God. Yeah. And like Peter, he, he had to seek God for it. Yeah. God seeked him and said, have you got any fish? And he had to be truthful and say, no, I haven't. I haven't got, I haven't got it. 
And we need Jesus in our boat. We need Jesus' presence. We need to believe in what he has and what is to come. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. I stand on his word. I stand on his promises. And it's amazing. The point that I'm trying to say really is everybody fails and that is okay. You need to embrace that you failed. It's okay to fail. It's okay to have these doubts. Keep trusting in God. Believe that these things may not be right for you at the moment. Might not be his plan. But you pray about it, you carry on, and you'll succeed. The thing is, God has a plan beyond your imagination. You'll be thinking, I've got this in hand, I've got this, I've got that. But God's going, no, you haven't. You are not seeing the bigger picture. And I feel as though with my nursing, I've been so focused on my maths and getting into you. And God's saying, you need to step back. You need to turn around and see everything that I've created, everything that I've done so far. And I feel as though I need to get my driving first. (laughs) I need to get my maths, build some money up behind me, because otherwise, I don't know where I'd be. But you need to carry on and have Jesus in your boat. Yeah. Jeremiah 8, 4. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Jeremiah 8, 4. Jeremiah says, this is to the people of Judah. This is what the Lord says. You know if a man fails, he gets up again. And if a man goes wrong, he turns around and comes back. And that's all I had really to say. I weren't really on planning on a really long talk. But get up again and continue your journey. There's been times where... I'll use Bradley as an example. He's working with my dad at the moment in carpets. And my dad's letting him make mistakes. Letting him do things that he's like, Dad, why are you trusting me in this carpet? It's so expensive. It's more than me. <laughs> like, and um, it's all right because without, without him failing and getting it wrong, he wouldn't see what he needs to do to succeed in life. And I've got a video to show you, and that's kind of where I'm going to end now. But... Just think about, as you're in this, uh, when I show you the video, that think of times when you failed. Think of times when things didn't go right. Because God, seriously, has got you in your hands. He's he's saying to you, I love you. You're perfect. You are not a failure in my eyes. You are not. You are my creation. So that's all I want to leave you today. And I just want you to know that God loves you. And he's proud of you, even though you feel as though you're not good enough, you are. Unmarried and no family. Life is unpredictable. I thought that by this age I'd be done with my semi-successful acting career. But married and raising a family. Well, I wasn't semi-successful as an actress. I'm hugely successful. So know that you're going to alter the way our world works in ways you cannot even imagine. But as you move forward, please, 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 oh please, don't let yourself get caught up in the trap of comparison. You know what I'm talking about. Ignore the silly 30 under 30 list that the internet throws at you before you've even had your morning cup of coffee. If I had to read 25 actresses who broke through before 25. Oh, when I was first starting out, I tell you guys, I would have stayed in bed because I guarantee you that none of them look like me. None of them. So know this, you're going to continue to evolve in unforeseen ways. You are full of complexities and wonders that haven't even begun to surface. Life's unpredictability will draw these out, and what defines you now will be mere shades and hues of a more vibrant you over the next 5, 10, 50 years. (laughs) Honestly, I can't think of anything more liberating than that, knowing that life will look differently than you think it will. But stay focused so that your change and growth is intentional. Don't let who you're becoming be shaped by disappointments. And also, don't let 
yourself be shaped by achievements either. Remember your Kipling. If you could meet with triumph and disaster, but treat those two imposters just the same. Mm -hmm. Treat them just the same. The journey you take now will be led by you alone. Let me say that again. The journey you take now will be led by you alone. Don't let that scare you. Oh no, let that liberate you. So keep moving forward. And don't be frustrated when your path gets messy because it will get messy. You'll fall and you'll fail along the way, wildly. Embrace the mess. Say it with me. Embrace the mess.